Shots ring out, sending students ducking for cover at a school bus stop. The gunman opened fire from an SUV, hitting a 15-year-old boy. Megan Shin is live at the scene of the crime here at Marshall Avenue in Newport News. And Megan, not only is this a school bus stop, this is near the Boys and Girls Club. Regina, that's right. Neighbors tell us that this blue building behind us is where the Boys and Girls Club meet sometimes. Now, we've been seeing a lot of police out here. As you can hear a little bit of the traffic honking, we've seen police step up their presence out here near this bus stop, especially after the 15-year-old boy was shot. Neighbors say the bus stop on Marshall Avenue is loud with morning conversation. They wake me up all the time all in the morning screaming and yelling. But this morning was different. This morning it was surprising when it was quiet. At 645 the noise was not from the five talking students. And I just heard pop 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 pop. It was gunshots. Newport News police say a 15 year old boy was shot in the leg by someone in a red SUV. Juanita Jackson says her grandson saw it happen. We just ran home and said somebody was shooting out there. But then he was like my friend out here got shot. Now extra police and counselors are at Heritage High School where the 15 year old is a student. You guys need to have some more patrol out here because that one police car that sit right there isn't enough, obviously. In a statement to 13 News Now, Newport News public school officials said we are going to support the student that was injured and the other students at the bus stop. Emergency crews took the boy to the hospital where he's recovering. Parents in the community say they're going to change how they watch their kids. Yeah, I'm going to watch them get on the bus because this bus come right here, basically where the other bus stop was at. So Everything has to be supervised. You, your friends got to be supervised, go to the store. Y'all got to supervise your kids going to school now. And the closest level two trauma center to here is Riverside Regional Medical Center. And they told us that they've seen 18 gunshot patients from the peninsula just since the beginning of this year. So far, police have not made an arrest in this shooting case. So they ask you to please call them if you have any information at their crime line, which is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Live in Newport News, I'm Megan Shin, 13 News Now.